Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop YouTube channel. I'm your host Mohamed Azam, bringing you another screencast about the map kit control or the UI map view control. And in this particular screencast, we are going to take a look at the overlays. Okay, so let me run this application, and you will see what we did the last time. Well, last time we displayed a chicken. So if you haven't watched that video, I would highly recommend that you do so. So what we want to do is create an overlay for our map or on our map. Now overlay can be used in many different ways. You can have an overlay uh, kind of like over here. Um, I don't know, like uh, anything you can display. You can display an advertisement in it. Uh, you just want to display an, uh, an image in it. You can do that. Uh, you can just display some signs on it. It's just an overlay. You can also create overlays to track the distance. Like if you are running outside, if you're jogging outside and you want to kind of like uh, draw a trail of where you are running, then you can create or you can use an overlay to create that kind of trail that where you're jogging outside. Okay. And it will create the overlay on the map. Uh, so in this particular screencast, we're just going to create a very simple polygon overlay. And we are just going to also display um, a, what is that called? The uh, image. We are going to display an image inside that overlay. So let's get started. Now, these are some coordinates that I already uh, computed. Um, and these are very close to the user location, the current user location in the emulator. And this will draw kind of like a triangle uh, polygon. Okay, so there are different kind of overlays, but we are just going to use the MK polygon. So I'm just going to say over here, MK. Let me see. So we have uh, MK polygon. Okay, and this will create, of course, a polygon view. Uh, and then you can say over here MK polygon uh, polygon with coordinates and we can just feed it with the coordinates let's say commuter lot coordinates I got this coordinate from somewhere and I'm just going to say that there are four of these okay so that it adds up a correct uh, polygon map view add overlay and then I'm just going to say okay um, Add the overlay, which is a MK polygon overlay, and just add the overlay. Now, when you add the overlay, it looks over here for the view for the overlay, and currently it's just returning nil. It's not going to have any view. Now, if you remember from the last uh, video, last screencast, we did view for annotation. So it's kind of similar to that, but instead of working on the annotations, it works on the overlay. So you have to provide some sort of view for the overlay that you are going to create. Okay, so let's actually do that. Uh, there are different ways to create, but we are since we're creating polygon, I'm just going to say polygon view. Okay, and uh, which can just say poly view and create the polygon view, which is MK polygon view. Uh, and uh, just pass it the overlay that we have. Okay. Now you can def uh, define different, many different things. Polygon dot uh, basically the line width. Okay. So I'm just going to say over here one. This will be the line width, the stroke color, and everything you can define. So we can say polygon view dot uh, stroke color, and then UI color. Let's say blue. Okay. And um, you can just return this one. You can say, okay, return poly view. Now, of course, in your real app, you will check that if the request for the overlay, if the overlay is kind of a class of a polygon view, then you return the polygon view. Uh, since we only have one uh, kind of overlay on the map, we can simply just return the polygon view in this case. But if you are using different types, of uh, you know different types of polygons then I suggest that you a different kind of overlays and I suggest that you check that so here we go um, we have this uh, triangle or a polygon being displayed 
and now you can display anything inside it okay so let's say that if I have if I want to say polygon or polyview dot fill color which is the uh, color or uh, the inside color I can say red and uh, let's run it so now you'll see that the polygon is now red and it's displayed on top of the top on the uh, on the map as in overlay but if we can get things a little bit more interesting because we can say uh, color with pattern image and you can actually provide the image um, in this case I'm just going to say image name and I have a flag so I'm just going to provide the name so what we're doing is we are and here we go so we have these uh, flag of Pakistan being displayed inside the polygon but one thing that you will note is that it's a pattern image so the background is now patterned okay uh, it's like very small you know small flags are number of small flags are being displayed you know and you don't really want to do that I mean if, if that is your requirement that's okay but I would suggest that uh, if you want to display these kind of things you can easily create a uh, you know the size for on which the map will be displayed or the image will be displayed so let's do that I'm actually just going to copy a little bit of code that I have already written so and we can go into the detail okay and let's run this one and then you'll have a much better idea of what is going on here we go so now you can see that the whole flag is actually being displayed in inside the polygon okay and this is very easy to achieve let's see what we're doing over here we're just getting the the bounding map rectangle and then we are creating the size and the width and then we are arranging our image to that particular size and then feeding of course the image to the fill color and the effect is of course that instead of having small images patterned images of the flag we now have one large image that is covering the complete polygon I think this is a very nice uh, you know, nice way to display like if you want to display you can mark different polygons and map out your country and then display a map I mean display a flag of your country on on the map okay and it will look really really nice so that's pretty much it I hope you like this video and if you do have any suggestion if you do have any comments you can send me an email to azamsharp.com azamsharp at gmail.com and also all the donations if you like to donate uh, you can donate it through PayPal uh, you can by sending it to azamsharp at gmail.com thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this video